So this is kind of in continuation to what I experienced in my download yesterday concerning um, integrity, standing in your integrity and making God accountable, right? What does that mean? So this earthly plane is God's creation. God sent us here, right, to have this experience. He made promises to us to which the majority of humanity may feel the lack of God's like presence or having kept the promises, okay? There are a lot of people that can feel it but would never acknowledge that feeling because how dare they, right? How dare they stand in that accountability to the Creator? In order to do that, Oh, I will. In order to do that, you yourself must hold a level of love. Like in all of those broken parts, right? And that's what it's about. So, wherever we have fallen from grace on our journey, it is a separation from the Creator. It is a broken aspect of self. And in order to recover your soul from that broken aspect, you must bring love to the depths of that experience. When you do this, you now hold a level of depth of integrity of love. Right? Not only have you forgiven the situation or accepted the situation, you have forgiven yourself and learned the lesson. In learning the lesson, you remove the karmic imprint. Now, that karmic imprint will go on repeat until you face it from a different way. I had a really beautiful conversation with somebody this evening and we were talking about this and they said that when they stand in their power and have that discussion with God, they are so afraid of the level of power they feel in that moment. As you should be. That level of power is equivalent to God. If you can hold that level of love integrity while facing off with God, you claim a level of power. God power. You must be able to hold it within the integrity and know that from as you move forward, all things that you create come from that place, right? So, why is it important to have these goes with God? Because part of it is clearing your karmic shit, right? When you truly face off with God, you have learned such vast lessons and you start to see how corrupted things have gotten. And in doing so, in doing so, you shine back that energy at God saying, yo, God, this is how it's meant to vibe. It should have this vibration. What the fuck, right? So in doing that, in doing that, you claim a level of power. You claim a level of the kingdom of the creator. And you, and you claim your godliness. You claim your godliness. Now, on the flip side of that, I, I don't often look at it from this flip side, but I mean, I have to, because what it is, is there are a lot of people out there that, you know, will go to the creator source energy and demand from the creator things of greed. And the Creator will co-create with that being. Giving that being the false illusionment that it is claiming parts of the kingdom. It's claiming the false kingdom. Claiming the false kingdom. 
So every time you make a decision based off of like greed or something that doesn't have depth of love to it, you are actually creating an illusion for yourself. Making, I mean, you might create some tangible shit. You might create some tangible shit in this lifetime. But that's it. It ends there. And if that's a, a level of a soul fulfillment, then those are your terms of your soul's fulfillment. Um, they are not mine. However, that's an interesting, it's an interesting perception to walk through. Yet, we are afraid to make God accountable because you yourself have to hold a level of integrity of love in your body so vastly that when the creator's energy comes back at you to be like, how dare you hold me accountable? And it not necessarily will even be how, it, uh, how dare you. It could be, depending on the topic. Um, but when you hold those levels of integrity towards the creator, one, you're co-creating with the creator, okay? That's why you can create a negative or positive result. The creator is all things. The creator is the creator. <laughs> he's not gonna tell you he's testing you. He's not gonna tell you that he's testing the quality of integrity of your love because the creator is pure love. And it's a free will. It's a free will planet. So if you wanna create from that, you can create from that but there are consequences. There are consequences. So be cautious of who you co-create with and just you exchanging energy with another person is a level of co-creation. So you could be in a place of integrity and love and get bamboozled by another human being um, whether they manipulated and stole energy from you um, one way or another, I mean, you still forfeited it, uh, but that energy can go into their co-creations. And when you do that, you could potentially leave a karmic imprint for yourself, depending on what it is. Whether you agree to that creation or not doesn't fucking matter. Your energetic imprint is given to that creation. That's powerful. And you should not be doing that with just anyone. We need to know the roots of the people that we're co-creating with. You need to know their roots. The depth to which they are capable of standing in. Mm -hmm. That's the depth of their integrity. How deep is their love? All of those things are important. I was going to see if I could flip it and show you the stunning moon that I'm looking at. Let's see, let's see. I have no idea, yo. Hmm. Let's see. Nope. So sorry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I lied. Maybe. There she is. There she is. So. The fear of not stepping into your own personal power and having an authentic hardcore discussion, like an authoritative discussion with the Creator. What I'm feeling and sensing and hearing is that that is exactly what God wants. God wants to be made accountable. And in you making Him accountable, you will prove the depth of your love for God. And the depth of love you are capable of carrying on this earthly plane which is always possible to upgrade as you go. It is always possible to get higher and higher levels of it. You just have to consistently do the work. 
bringing love into all of those broken parts, all of those places that have cracks, right? I often tell, there's a Japanese pottery that when it breaks, when you break the pottery, you use gold to seal it back up again, right? Gold is a natural element. It creates energy now. It, it impacts the energy of that bowl to like a thousand fold. It's like unbelievable, right? Had you used some sort of super glue or rubber, the energy would no longer flow, it would bounce off of it. It might appear to have a better seal, but in fact, no longer is that bowl a bowl. The shape of the bowl is no longer in vibrational harmony. Loss of integrity, loss of integrity. So when you seal your broken parts with that rubberized glue or, you know, that gorilla glue or something of that nature, when you fill those broken parts with that, then your container has lost its integrity and you are easily shattered and broken. Right? The illusion will only last so long. And that's the truth. One's integrity will always be tested and proven. The greatest way of facing that integrity is shining a light on it with the Creator. Personally, in my own process, and this is going to be very raw and open, and some people might have a problem with this, but I actually denounced God as God. I denounced Him as my Father. I no longer gave Him that power. Not the power of my insight, not the power of my opinion. That is the degree of integrity I lay before the Father. That is my degree of integrity. To uphold the light at all costs. And that in everything I do, my signature creation holds a level of integrity that the Father would be proud of. That is the truth. I am going through so many crazy downloads in the last couple of days. This moon, I think, is absolutely activating it. Standing in that level of integrity and power within myself. That's it. That's it. I deserve to know what that feels like. You deserve to know what that feels like. It is a state of sovereignty. It is a state of complete accountability for all of your creations. Now, you're, you're responsible for all of your creations, whether you claim sovereignty or not. However, those that do not claim sovereignty will be confined to the matrix, will be, um, hmm. They'll never be free. The only way to the complete freedom is to claim that sovereignty and then allow yourself to stand in it from, you just have to keep shining light on all different parts of you in order to make sure you've kept it in those moments. If you can't shine pure light and in integrity of love in every single moment to the depth of your being, then you have not owned complete sovereignty. And I think we're all still on that journey, right? There's always lessons to be learned. There's always more to unravel and unfold and, and see of oneself. But to claim the sovereignty so you take the steps in that direction. That is key. Oh, wow. I looked up and it was 1444. That was awesome. 
as the owl hooted in the trees. Wow. I have also found that something I've noticed in the male and female patterning. Now, it does have to do with human psycholo you know, psychology and my, my personal belief. Yet, the feminine energy tends to battle it out with God. And we do it from a place of humility, um, but we stand in a place of power demanding that we are heard, right? Now, did the father treat us differently? Maybe. Maybe there was a gender shift. Maybe there was judgment. Maybe there was all of these things that we need to make the father accountable for, right? To have, you know, did God actually judge based on sexuality and preferences at one point in time? Make him accountable. Find out. Instead of making other human beings accountable for it, how about you stand up to God and stand in that level of integrity and allow God's love to pour through you so that you actually can feel God asking of forgiveness of you and you receiving the gift of God's love. So pure. So pure. You know, we keep battling these people outside of us. Fuck them. Have it all with God. Stand in your integrity with God. Whatever you want to call it. Universal energy. Yah Yahweh. I don't... My only thing with Yahweh is that it has everything to do with the Son of God. And there needs to be, a, this is a completely different distinction. The message I'm hearing is the Father wants to be made accountable. For anything that you believe is less than the pure love vibration. And when you do it, allow the energy to pour through you as purely as you are capable. Right? Own it in the marrow of your bones. Own it from the core of your being. That depth of love and integrity to all of humanity, not just you, it's healing your wounds when you give it to humanity. Can you stand in that power and face off with God? It is so powerful, it's fucking scary. It's scary. You know, and that's, I, I quote my friend from earlier, when they do that, they feel so powerful that it frightens them. In order to claim that level of power, you must own the integrity that goes along with it. If not, any good soul being, any like good-hearted being, will realize that that's a level of power that they don't want to fuck with because what if they make a mistake? Right? You get to claim the level of power. You really do. You get to claim the level of power. But I will tell you, it is... It is a powerful moment. It is. I wish you peace. I wish you peace. I wish me peace too, right? And all of this crazy, hectic, amazing, adventurous life. I wish my heart peace and solace and all of my life experiences and witnesses of others. May I love them purely. Oh. May I hold space for them to love themselves purely. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you for sharing another video with me. And I am going to get back to my moon. Sorry for the darkness, guys, but it is what it is. Mwah. Peace out, y'all.